Welcome to Disturbingly Cheap Reviews. This week we wonder how much Dennis Quaid is paid per picture with the cliché ridden Beneath the Darkness. In it, we follow a small group of unlikable high school students who stumble upon the local mortician's dark hidden secret and end up trying to survive while he makes them look like liars to the local town. You know, along with trying to kill them like most crazy people are apt to do in this situation. As you might guess from the second line of this review, Dennis Quaid is indeed here as the cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs mortician and steals the show with his scenery chomping performance. And I don't know what it is about Quaid, but even in roles where it appears he is just acting horribly, he's still amusing to me. I have seen some pretty darn bad films solely because he was a member of the cast, and this was another one. Anyway, the students are a pouty main male character who watched his sister die when he was younger, swears he saw a ghost take her, and blames everyone else for his problems. And a main female character who crushes over the main male character for no apparent reason and manages to be brave long enough to become the whimpering damsel in distress. From there, you've got your stereotypical jerk jock that makes you wonder how or why he's friends with these people, and the downright annoying comedic relief. This isn't good. Nope. The cliches pile on quick, and any chance of me caring about the main characters disappears even quicker. Quaid's villain is so ridiculously over the top that it's a miracle that he didn't have neon lights flashing I did it over and over while the sheriff looks away, I give it a D plus. The only thing that might be worth it in this film is seeing Quaid so bad it's amusing work. And there is very little else. And with that, we try to put on our best evil smile and head to spoilers. So, yeah, Quaid's crazy. He keeps his dead wife's embalmed body hidden in the house so he can dance with her when he feels like. However, after ignorant students decide to break into his house in order to try and discover the rumored ghosts haunting it, he's left with little option but to smear their names after thankfully killing the comedic relief. The other three work to convince people that Quaid is a crazy murderer, and they basically fail for the most part until we get to the finale, where Quaid kidnaps the now useless main girl who is too dumb to figure out the ever elaborate escape plan of bite the duct tape until the main character tells her to. In the end, main girl puts on Quaid's dead wife's dress pulls a Friday the 13th part 2 long enough for them to knock him into a coffin and cover him with dirt. No, they don't kill him. They go to the police who dig him up and send him to an asylum. The movie ends with a freaking punchline of Quaid acting even crazier, which I didn't know was possible at this point, before breaking the fourth wall, looking directly into the camera and saying, love sucks. I don't even. I don't even. So yeah, that's Beneath the Darkness. I suppose the title reflects Quaid's burying one side character alive and then doing the same to the main girl for a little bit, but in all, it's a mess of a film that's really not worth any of your time unless you are a big Dennis Quaid fan. So until next time, at least it wasn't Legion.